The Introduction, The Autobiography of Madame Kion by Jean Kion. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. In the history of the world, few persons have attained that high degree of spirituality reached by Madame Kion. Born in a corrupt age, in a nation marked for its degeneracy, nursed and reared in a church as profligate as the world in which it was embedded, persecuted at every step of her career, groping as she did in spiritual desolation and ignorance. Nevertheless, she arose to the highest pinnacle of preeminence in spirituality and Christian devotion. She lived and died in the Catholic Church, yet was tormented and afflicted, was maltreated and abused, and was imprisoned for years by the highest authorities of that church. Her sole crime was that of loving God. The ground of her offense was found in her supreme devotion and unmeasured attachment to Christ. When they demanded her money and estate, she gladly surrendered them even to her impoverishment but it availed nothing the crime of loving him in whom her whole being was absorbed never could be medicated or forgiven she loved only to do good to her fellow creatures and to such an extent was she filled with the Holy Ghost and with the power of God that she wrote wonders in her day and has not ceased to influence the ages that have followed. You, from a human standpoint, it is a sublime spectacle to see a solitary woman subvert all the machinations of kings and courtiers love to scorn all the malignant engineer of the papal inquisition and silence and confound the pretensions of the most learned divines she not only saw more clearly the sublimest truths of our most holy christianity but she basked in the clearest and most beautiful sunlight while they groped in darkness she grasped with ease the deepest and sublimest truths of holy writ while they were lost in the mazes of their own profound ignorance one distinguished divine was delighted to sit at her feet at first he heard her with distrust then with admiration finally he opened his heart to the truth and stretched forth his hand to be led by this saint of god into the holy of holies where she dwelt we allude to the distinguished archbishop fenelon whose sweet spirit and charming writings have been a blessing to every generation following him. We offer no word of apology for publishing in the autobiography of Madame Kion those expressions of devotion to her church that found vent in her writings. She was a true Catholic when Protestantism was in its infancy. There can be no doubt that God, by a special interposition 
of his providence caused her to commit her life so minutely to writing the duty was enjoined upon her by her spiritual director whom the rules of her church made it obligatory upon her to obey it was written while she was incarcerated in the cell of a lonely prison the same all-wise providence preserve it from destruction we have not a shadow of doubt that it is destined to accomplish tenfold more in the future than it has accomplished in the past indeed the christian world is only beginning to understand and appreciate it and the hope and prayer of the publisher is that thousands may through its instrumentality be brought into the same intimate communion and fellowship with god that was so richly enjoyed by madame Kion. End of introduction